There's a lot of mods for Blade and Sorcery, but there's two in particular that I like to use often. Sword Dual Waves and Enhanced Difficulty. Sometimes you really just want to simplify it. No uh, mages or archers you have to chase around, no wild weapons. And the game has the 1v1 waves built into it. And I use Mixed Melee more than any other mode in this game because it gives me kind of what I want. A large number of people coming up, but sometimes you just want sword fights. Sword Dual Waves provides a swords only list in your wave book. And four waves, rapier, and then swords only one through one, one versus one, and one verse, through one versus three. Let's start with rapiers. I use this a whole lot because I just enjoy it more. Now, all this mod really does is just limits your opponents to swordsmen. Uh, in this case, people with medium armor and rapiers and nothing else. Come on, get up. I like it because they come to me and I can uh, move around in my area. It's a little more immersive. I can try to practice blocking and dodging. Uh, it does get a little bit repetitive. But one thing you can do is just stand there in front of them for a while. Just practicing your blocking. Here I am in slow-mo, or you can speed up to just regular speed. And I'm not promising that I'm an expert at blocking. I'm just showing you that you can do it. The waves will happen continuously. There's no ending. It's infinite. They'll always come out of multiple doors. So you never know which direction the guy's coming from next. And it's not the most exciting gameplay. But if you like swashbuckling swordplay, this is uh, the mode for you. Get out. Go. Alright, now let's check out swords only one versus one. Get up to the middle. Just like before, they're going to come out of any door. Armor level is going to be similar, but the weapons change. That guy had a riding sword. Oh. So I'm gonna, and he's got, looks like a uh, short sword. Nope, antique sword. <laughs> Never actually did that before. So, once again, there's not a lot of variety to this. They're going to come at you with a limited set of weapons. Long sword, this short sword, and the riding sword. Okay, enough of you. Do, 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 do. Stop. Get! Okay. And of course you got one versus two, one versus three. Let's check out one versus three. You know the routine. So they're just going to come at you from all sides, just like they do in regular gameplay. The only difference is that they're all going to be armed with a limited set of weapons. The same swords as before. And I actually don't use this mode very much because it's not as interesting to me as a single one-on-one -on -one fight. Anyway, enough of this. So that is Sword Dual Waves. It gives you a bunch of swords. Hey! Hey! Okay. Sword Dual Waves gives you a bunch of swordsmen to fight. Hey, what the? Okay, no, 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 you get... Longsword. That sword dual waves. Now let's show you show you another one that's also a little bit more of a challenge. Very similar idea. Enhanced difficulty gives you the expert category of guys you can spawn. You've got heavy armor, medium armor, and just light armor, and all of them for one versus one, versus two, and versus three, along with a couple other modes I'll show you. Let's start with one versus one, expert. This game's also good exercise. So as you can see, this guy is just armed with rapier and 
you'll notice he's a little bit more whoa, aggressive. Like really aggressive. Like you have to be very careful attacking because uh, they don't give you much of an opening. Also, unlike the other mod, these guys are all going to come out of the same room, uh, same doorway. So that's kind of predictable. You lose that excitement of knowing someone might be coming at you from behind any second. Oh, it's got some reach. I haven't quite figured out how to block that uh, upward swing that they do. But hey, this mod is a great way to practice doing that. Yeah. Go away. And then you got medium armor. Oh, there you are. Which does exactly what you would expect it to do. Gives you a guy with a little bit more armor to deal with. And then heavy armor. Okay, take a guess what that's gonna do. Oh, it tricked me though, that one. Okay, maybe they do come out of other doors. Is that guy going to come out of that door too? Nope, that door? Okay. So they're going to keep coming out of the same door each session. Every time you start it though, you're not guaranteed which door they're going to come out of. I've got another, I've got another couple modes. Firing squad. I hate this one, but I'll show you. Six expert archers. The only good thing I could say about this is that when you kill the archers, they stay dead. Anyone there? Yay! Is he gone? Nope. Yep. Yeah. Do 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 do. Not so good at stabbing with a longsword. And of course you do have the three A. Hey, come on. Come on. Get 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 come on. Come in. Come on. Hey. Oh. Ah. Okay. Forget the long sword. Oh, I got two long swords. Anyway. Now how do I get this guy? Ah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Can't get my sword in there. Come on. Ah. Anyway, you get the idea. That's firing squad. Let's do tag team. Swordsman and archer team up to put you through the table. Oh, how I love archers. Okay, will it come out of door number one? He's still there. Oh. Ooh, pokey. Oh, at least I don't have to go deal with that guy. Hey, Mr. Archer. And as you can see, oh, they do respawn. So just a continuous set of a uh, swordsman and an archer. I never use that mode. I appreciate the thought, but it's just not for me. You're not going to go away, are you? All right, now let's get to the meat of it. One versus three. Expert. Heavy armor. This is as intense as this uh, mod gets. And remember, all these guys fight much more aggressively than they normally would. So, it's not that bad to get some help. And 
And actually, there's no rule that says you have to use a sword too. I want to show you a toy that I picked up from the Medieval Mega Pack. Me medieval Weapons Mega Pack. But, would you let me talk? The, uh... Quahololi. Yes, I worked out how to pronounce that, and I'm probably still getting it wrong. Quahololi. It's an Aztec weapon that's basically a large war club. I personally like it because while it's a little bit uh, janky one-handed, still, if you get a good swing on it, it can be utterly lethal. Especially the guys with low armor. But this video is not about this weapon. I'm showing you one of my favorite toys. So, sword dual waves and enhanced difficulty. If you want to, uh, hello, if you just want a uh, sword fight and aren't really looking for the variety of having people coming at you with every single thing you've got installed. <sighs> okay, enough. Go, go. You live here now. All right. So, have fun.